30 month old white boy is brought to your pediatric clinic because of deterioration in his ability to stand and walk. Deterioration in his ability to stand and walk. 30 month old white boy. Previously, it was nine month old girl. That's why I told you sex is a girl, which is important for crabbies. And 30 month old boy over here. Deterioration in his ability to stand and walk. So here, the infant was born full term without any complications during pregnancy. So there is, everything is fine with that. He had met all developmental milestones up to this point. Very good. On standing the patient up, you find a wide based gait and ataxia. Underline. Wide based gait and ataxia. The child also has mildly hyperreflexive deep tendon reflexes, like previous. Hyperreflexive, hyperreflexive deep tendon reflexes. And the parents were also concerned about the possible seizure like activity one week ago, like jerks. Same like the previous one. Seizure like activity one week ago. And a lumbar puncture shows increased protein. Whenever it is increased protein means rule out cerebral palsy. Ruling out cerebral palsy. You become concerned about the autosomal recessive leukodystrophy. This is the case. Metachromatic leukodystrophy. Age. See the age. That's why this is how you have to differentiate. 30 month old white boy. Sex is also important. Age is also important. Greater than 24 months is the presentation for the metachromatic leukodystrophy. And less than one year is the presentation for the Frabies and majority of the cases, good. So this is the autosomal recessive disorder. And the enzyme deficiency is aryl sulfatase A. Aryl sulfatase A. This aryl sulfatase A is responsible for the conversion of galactosyl ceramide sulfate to galactosyl ceramide. That's the reason aryl sulfatase, which means it removes the sulfate moiety from the galactosyl ceramide to form galactosyl ceramide during the glycosphingolipid catabolism. So whenever this enzyme is deficient, there will be accumulation of the galactosyl ceramide sulfate or sulfatide. Galactosyl ceramide sulfate. Extra sulfate is accumulated over here. Especially in the CNS white matter. White matter of the CNS and myelinated PNS. Myelinated PNS, that is tracts. the most common location and the initial finding is the nervous system finding. CNS white matter and the myelinated nervous system tracts and other organs which are involved in the metachromatic leukodystrophy is the kidney and liver. So this disease has a several clinical variants and the infantile form presents by the age of two. By the age of two, I never said before the age of one, to get confused with the crabbies. Infantile form presents by the age of two. That's why I said 24 months with regression of the developmental milestones and mental retardation. Can you see those in our case? Yes, they mentioned he had met all developmental milestones up to this point. So what, what does it mean? Regression of the developmental milestones and mental retardation is a classical feature for infantile form. But in our case, already he met all the developmental milestones up to this point by the age of 30 months. So can you say that it is not an infantile form? Yes, generally by 24 months they will give you by the age of, they won't give you even 30 months because two and a half months means it is too much time. By that time, he should not meet his developmental milestones. Then only remember that it is the infantile form. If he met the developmental milestone, even after 24 months, 
think that it is not the infantile form right so it may be a juvenile form so juvenile form as well as adult form both present with ataxia which is typically wide based gait and gait disturbances the juvenile as well as adult forms present with ataxia gait disturbances optic atrophy is that there in our case optic atrophy peripheral neuropathy behavioral disturbances such as psychosis but behavioral disturbances and psychosis is seen approximately by the age of 3 to 4 like this and dementia are common all these only by the age of after like uh, 36 months only these symptoms can be seen lab findings metachromasia of nerves with staining on microscopic examination metachromasia of nerve that's the reason we are calling it as a metachromatic leukodystrophy and both the infantile and juvenile forms of the disease usually fatal by the age of 